Hi everyone, we are continuing gamma function. In the last class, we discussed about the definition of gamma and properties and one more important formula gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to root pi. Now we are discussing the continuation for continuation of the gamma function. Now we are going to discuss this problem. Integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax x power n minus 1 dx. This one we are evaluating by using our gamma function. What is our gamma function? Gamma function is gamma of n is equal integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x power n minus 1 dx. In place of e power limits 0 to infinity are same e power minus x in place of x there is a value ax so we are treating ax as our substitution use substitution here put ax is equal to t x is equal t by a from this dx is equal dt by a lower limit here they are given x as 0 substitute x as 0 in this one here 0 into anything 0 so t becomes 0 upper limit x as infinity here upper limit substitute x as infinity infinity into anything infinity so t also reaches to infinity substitute these are all values in the given integral integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax x power n minus 1 dx this one is equal limits are t limits 0 to infinity e power minus ax value is t x x value is t by a whole power n minus 1 and dx dx value is dt by a this one is equal 0 to infinity e power minus t this one a by b whole power n can be written as a power n by b power n so this is t power n minus 1 by a power n minus 1 1 by a dt here integration with respect to t here a power n minus 1 constant a is constant both having the same basis so add numerators it comes to outside 1 by a power n minus 1 integral 0 to infinity e power minus t t power n minus 1 dt this one is equal 1 by a power n minus 1 and here the formula integral 0 to infinity e power minus t t power n minus 1 dt which is same as like this only variable replaced x as t so this total one can be written as gamma of n so this one is equal this one is gamma of n so formula is gamma of n by answer is gamma of n by a power n minus 1 so what is the result integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax x power n minus 1 dx is equal gamma of n by a power n minus 1 this result we are using as a formula so any problem in place of a any one they given same as it is procedure we are doing for evaluation of the integral now now we are discussing one more problem integral 0 to 1 log x dx so here we are assuming this log x as our substitution put log x is equal minus t then this becomes x is equal e power minus t dx is equal minus e power minus t dt lower limit x as 0 
implies substitute x in this one that implies 0 is equal to e power minus t apply reciprocal for this e power t is equal to 1 by 0 which is nothing but infinity so this one changing as e power t is equal to 1 by 0 so x 0 is equal to e power minus t 1 by e power t is equal to 0 e power t is equal 1 by 0 e power t is equal infinity which is nothing but t reaches to infinity so x tends to 0 t reaches to infinity whereas upper limit x as 1 x 1 1 means log 1 0 so minus t 0 means t always 0 so with respect to x limits t limits change as infinity to 0 now use this substitution substitute log x dx and t limits in the given integral then this one integral 0 to 1 log x dx limits change as infinity to 0 log x is minus t dx value is minus e power minus t dt this one is equal here this minus changes upper limit as lower limit lower limit as upper limit minus integral 0 to infinity 1 minus existing outside e power minus t t power 1 dt minus integral 0 to infinity e power minus t 1 can be written as 2 minus 1 dt by using gamma function this one is minus gamma of 2 gamma of 2 is 1 factorial value is minus 1 so integral 0 to 1 log x dx value is this one so any integral consisting log logarithm so you are doing like in this way for the evaluation of integral now we are going with uh, another problem a power minus bx square dx here use the substitution a power minus bx square is equal e power minus t by using this substitution we are calculating the value of the integral from this we need to calculate dx value apply logarithm on both sides log a power minus bx square is equal log e power minus t log a power b formula is b log a so this one minus bx square log a is equal minus t log e base e log e base e value is 1 so here and here minus minus getting cancelled so bx square log a is equal t now from this x square is equal t by b log a that implies x is equal 1 by square root b log a into root t applied square root on both sides then this one x value dx is equal 1 by square root b log a root t derivative 1 by 2 root to t dt lower limits and upper limit lower limit is x tends to 0 substitute x as 0 in this t here x 0 means 0 and anything 0 so t 0 upper limit x tends to infinity x is infinity means anything into infinity value infinity so 2 is infinity now substitute these are all in the given integral integral 0 to infinity 
a power minus bx square dx this one is a power minus bx square value is e power minus t so this one 0 to infinity e power minus t dx value is here substitute that one 1 by square root b log a 1 by 2 root t t t this one is equal 0 to infinity e power minus t 1 by 2 root b log a into root t goes to numerator power minus 1 by 2 dt this one is equal here integration with respect to t bring this constant into outside 1 by 2 root b log a into 0 to infinity e power minus t t power 1 by 2 can be written as 1 by 2 minus 1 dt this one is equal 1 by 2 root b log a and here the formula of this one is gamma function by using gamma here n value 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 we know that root pi so this one root pi by 2 into square root b log a now we are seeing one more example another problem integral 0 to infinity x power c by c power x dx now we want to solve this problem this one can be written as 0 to infinity x power c into c power minus x dx our formula is gamma integral 0 to infinity e power minus x into x power n minus 1 x power c can be written as c plus 1 minus 1 but here in place of e power minus x there is a value c power minus x assume that one as t so that one assume as e power minus x put c power minus x is equal e power minus t apply log on both sides log c power minus x is equal log e power minus t by using b log a log a power b formula minus x log c is equal minus t log e to the base e minus minus cancel x log c is equal t from this x is equal t by log c dx is equal dt by log c substitute x as t by log c c power minus x as e power minus t dx as dt by log c whereas coming to the lower limit lower limit is x as 0 x 0 means t, uh, substitute in this one then you will get t as 0 upper limit x as infinity then from this infinity into anything infinity t reaches to infinity substitute these are all in the given integral then this one given integral is this one this is equal limits are 0 to infinity x x value is t by log c whole power c c power minus x is e power minus t dx value is dt by log c this one is equal 0 to infinity a by b whole power c is a power c by b power c e power minus t 1 by log c dt here base log c power c here base log c 
so be here bases are equal so add powers and it is constant comes to outside 1 by log c power c plus 1 t power c can be written as t power c plus 1 minus 1 dt integral 0 to infinity is t power c plus 1 minus 1 e power minus t dt and this one formula for gamma function 1 by log c power c plus 1 this one is gamma of c plus 1 we know that gamma of n plus 1 is n factorial gamma of c plus 1 is c factorial by log c power c plus 1 thank you